Bayes' theorem is named after British statistician Thomas Bayes, born in 18th century. His theorem mainly helped in solving problems that involved reversing conditional probabilities, that is, finding the probability of an event given the probability of another event. Later, this theorem was popularized by Pierre Simon Laplace, a French mathematician who independently rediscovered and formalized it in later 18th century. He applied this theorem to various practical problems from astronomy such as to predict the mass of planets, to social statistics such as probability of life expectancy. Today, Bayes' theorem is widely used in various fields, including machine learning. An example of this is spam filtering in emails. We will see this in upcoming videos. Mathematically, Bayes' theorem is defined as probability of a given. B is equal to probability of B given at times P of A divided by P of B. Here, P of A given B is called posterior probability because it is the probability of event A after event B has occurred. P of B given A is also the posterior probability because it is the probability of event B after A has occurred. P of A is called prior probability because it is the probability of event A before event B has occurred. Similarly, P of B is also called prior probability because it is the probability of event B before event A has occurred. Next, let's see how we can derive Bayes' theorem from the definition of conditional probability. Recall that the definition of conditional probability is defined as P of A given B equals to P of A intersection B divided by P of B. Similarly, P of B given A would be equal to P of B intersection A divided by P of A. If we isolate P of A intersection B in the first equation by multiplying both sides by P of B, we get equation like this. Similarly, if we isolate P of B intersection A in the second equation by multiplying both sides by P of A, we get equation like this. Next, since both P of A intersection B and P of B intersection A are equal by the commutative property of intersection, we can equate the two equations. Finally, by isolating P of A given B by dividing both sides by P of B, we get the Bayes' theorem equation. This is how we derive Bayes' theorem from the definition of conditional probability. Before we look at the applications of Bayes' theorem, we will need to understand the law of total probability as these two concepts are closely related. We will look at the law of total probability in the next video. In the meantime, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.